That was promulgated in what, 2013? Uh, so, so um, that's when we had our first meeting and handed those things out. So um, even if you kind of got that out and took a look at it. But one of the things that started happening and that we kept cautioning against is you don't teach from the framework. And we started hearing some people that were like teaching that, you know, the stuff there like grade two, grade three, that's stuff right from the framework. The framework is the reference text for development of curriculum. So what we remember is Jesus Christ is at the center of all. Amy had a really good phrase that she used when she did a presentation. She said, because of Jesus. Why do you do everything? Because of Jesus. It's about him, uh, that he's the anchor. So how did we do this? The steps in designing the scope and sequence was, and we'll go and teach this, was first we selected the big four ideas, the big unit ideas, there's four units. We sorted learning, learning targets under those four units through some very clever ways. Um, they clustered the learning targets. Now what is, what is a learning target? Remembering this phrasing from the framework, right? Those are those doctrinal statements and they're you know, like 4.1, 0.1, 0.2, you know, that kind of thing. Let's you know you're in the fourth grade, right? I think we'll go a little bit through that just to refresh and get the cobwebs out. And we talked about writing essential questions for each of those lessons and then citing some available resources. So those were the steps in designing a scope and sequence. These four big ideas are the cornerstones for the entire uh, curriculum from womb to tomb. These four big ideas are the cornerstones. They remain the same, whether you're teaching early childhood, childhood, younger adolescents, older adolescents, or adults. These are the unifying threads of the entire um, curriculum. And Julie, they have a vocabulary page in their folder. Yes, you have a vocabulary page in your folder. The teacher wants you to know you have your vocabulary page that you can refer to. Okay, so the unit ideas, um, who is Jesus Christ, unit one. Unit two, how do we get to know and love Jesus Christ? Unit three, how does Jesus Christ teach us to live a moral life? And unit four, how are we called to become missionary disciples of Jesus Christ? These are the things that Julie and everybody else needs to memorize because these, the, these are the rocks. So how will this concept of the big idea deepen your understanding? So if you think about that they're, they're the same across all the grade levels, and you know the framework builds, right? They started with the mature adult in a target and wrote that way, so we started with adult and they came down so that you can see from the preschool era all the way up how that was increased each grade level, that thought, until you got to the mature adult um, understanding of that faith concept. So if they're used across them, then each time they, they hit these units, they're going deeper and deeper into their knowledge of that faith topic. Everybody understands that? I think a lot of that was that, um, I want to say elliptical, that's the wrong word. So, there you go, spiral. <laughs> the spiraling of, of catechesis that some of the uh, publishers also had gotten into trying to do in, in their things. So, and I think you have this one too in your handouts. We try to put them in order so you didn't have to riffle through everything. But... <laughs> You can see the overarching theme is growing closer to God through Jesus Christ by means of the spirit alive in the church. Unit one, big idea, who is Jesus Christ? And you can see kindergarten, grade one, grade two, grade three, grade four, grade five, um, the EQ, the essential question that's going to fall under each of those grades. A lot of them look the same, huh? What's going to make the difference? Anybody want to hazard a, an intuitive guess? Yes, ma'am. Right, the level of understanding, which is found in what in the framework? 
Oh, I'm, I'm asking a deeper question than I did on March 29th. But I had teachers here. What goes under those, those essential questions? What's going to answer them? Learning targets, there you go. Okay. They do. <laughs> they do. So that's what's going to make the difference. Because the first time I looked at this, I said to Sharon, those are the same doggone questions. <laughs> <laughs> what about, and she goes, yes, but we're going to go deeper and deeper into them and realize that it's the learning targets that will be placed under each of those that show how they are going to um, learn and progress uh, through, those, through those groups. So that's there. And remember, these are my little uh, finger things because we had them already before. The essential questions that were there, EQs, we call them one, two, and three, that essential questions point to big ideas, important issues, they're open-ended, <clears throat> thought-provoking, they serve as cognitive bookends to frame lesson plans. You start with the essential question, you end with the essential question. And when they get you all distracted, those adults, that sometimes get you off topic, you can see what your essential question is and guide yourself back in. I know they're great for me as an instructor. With the, I teach the adults and I talk the confirmation, adult confirmation classes, and boy, I'll tell you, they can get you off topic, you know, and I, I had it posted in the back of the room where I could look back and see, now what was I saying, <laughs> you know, and I can get back on track. So they're good for you as a teacher too. Uh, and they reoccur throughout the unit or year. The answers can change because of increased experiences you've given them or extended teaching that you've given them so they have a deeper understanding. So, as they do with the kids, let's look a little bit deeper about this. The scope and sequence for unpacking grades three to five, vertical alignment, here we go. EQ1, how does praying help me know and love Jesus Christ? This is gonna kind of show you an example. And again, there it is. How do we get to know and love Jesus Christ as a unit two big idea? And we're looking at praying would fall under that unit, right? Because praying is how you would get to know and love Jesus Christ. So logically, that's where it goes. All right. <clears throat> so if, if you look, and you should have this one too, right? Yeah? Oh, good. All right, so that helped. Just kind of, you know, just kind of take some time to, to look through that. I didn't give those other people when we did this on March 29th any time. So I think it's important. So just on praying, right? So kindergarten, how does praying help me? How does, it, it, if you just read across, the kindergarten, the first grade look the same, second grade, help me get to know and love Jesus Christ, get to know and love Jesus Christ. Again, what's gonna be different? The targets underneath of the, each of those, right? Those are the prayers for each of those grade levels according to the framework that they need to know. Um, Ms. Sharon went to some group and somebody was teaching their second grade the Memorari. And she's like, well, it's a good prayer. She, look no, it up. I said I've never heard it. Yeah, <laughs> she, had, she had to look it up, you know. But, <laughs> but does that belong in the second grade? You know, I'm trying to recite it in my head and going just the poetic language in itself is not a concept that the, you know, kids can understand. So, you know, we've thought of these things and where the prayers go. So always refer to that in, uh, that's an appendix in the framework. And I believe in the lesson plans, they've referred back to them too, you know, to teach in that grade level. Uh, mass, you know, how is going to mass? Because mass is a way we get to know and love Jesus Christ. Um, prayers, sacramentals, church tours, all kinds of things getting to know the church. And we get to know them through the experience of the sacraments and always there's a unit evaluation. So just kind of taking a look at how that is set up. 